What's up guys, it's CFN, my name is Connor, and welcome back to CFN TV. Today we got another Joe setting out video. This is Tinder's Finest, part three. Part three, Tinder's Finest. People who are trying to find the love of their lives on an app called Tinder. And here's an example of the, of the finest people on Tinder that you can find on this Tinder app. Now, me myself, I'm not on Tinder because some of these people he's going to present might not be the type of person for me specifically, but it could be for you. So if you like any of these people that he's going to show, make sure you check it out. Anyways, make sure you check out the original video in the description down below. Subscribe to the CFN Nation, brother. Oh, help me to get a thousand subs, man. And send me requests. Let's get right into this video. Christmas is right around the corner, which means you're going to have to explain to your relatives for the fifth year in a row why you're still single. And maybe you're getting desperate. You're like, I don't know what to do. I dress nice. I don't know. So you're going to download Tinder. Before you do that, let me show you what you're working with on Tinder. Melinda, 24. I enjoy long walks on the beach, candlelit dinners, and shitting on your chest. Good God, Melinda. I get the long walks on the beach and the dinners or whatever, but shitting on so much, those just don't add up. I mean, look at this girl's face. She just doesn't seem like the type when you look at her. Maybe she meant to say sitting on your chest. That's not too bad. She could have misspelled. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't have to do that. I don't know. That's not, like I said, that's not for me. That's not really for me. That's not kind. I'm not the kind of person that rolls that way. I like to keep myself clean. You know what I'm saying? I'm to keep myself clean. I like to smell nice. You know what I'm saying? That's not really for me. All right. Moving on. You're like, oh, she likes flowers and chocolate on Valentine's Day. Not standing over you and dropping a hot one on her <laughs> birthday. This is what I want to do tonight. Why do people even do this? What yeah. possible pleasure are you getting? from shitting on another human being. And never mind the cleanup. The cleanup must be, how do you, and the preparation. If you're like, yo, I'm gonna shit on Mike tonight. Tonight's tonight, I'm gonna shit on, I'm gonna do that tonight. You have to line the entire room with plastic wrap like you're Dexter about to kill someone on their fucking coffee table. Because if you don't, then human shit is just gonna be everywhere. You're gonna shit on the bed, the bed sheets, the mattress, the bed frame. You're gonna have to throw all that out and then you might as well move out at that point. Yep. And if you start shitting in your home, just in rooms that aren't the bathroom, move out. Go outside. Go live in a treehouse where that's cool, okay? Once a few things have human shit on them in your house, so many that you can't really keep track. Wait, did that get on the bed frame? Just move, get out. Will, 22. Hey, I'm Will. I only want to talk to hot chicks, no ugly girls. I love pussy. Oh, Jesus, William? <laughs> Have a goddamn filter, will ya? And for the love of God, tweeze that caterpillar on your face before it cocoons and then becomes a butterfly and just flies off of your face. Please. Also, am I crazy or does this kid look like that chick from Dodgeball that was throwing mist? <laughs> I, I can see that. 21. Yo, I like horror, I see body that. mods, creepy shit. Alcohol and fast, fuzzy, sludgy. The fucking shit. Fast, fudgy, wait. Fast, fuzzy, sludgy, gross music. I'm also not cool at all. Hit me up if you want to be covered in my blood. Okay, okay. there's a turn off. There it is. I can probably get past the creepy music, horror. I start, I'm starting to get into horror. I like horror and stuff like that. And you're not cool. Hey, I'm not that cool either. Who, who, who can who can judge who's cool? Okay. But the blood thing, not so much. Reminds me too much of Doki Doki Literature Club named Yuri. Even though she's attractive, she's got a little bit of a knife-wielding, blood-sucking problem. Alright, it's a little, it's not really my element. I am just saying. Sorry. Not for me. Not for me. By the way, Doki Doki Literature Club uh, stream tomorrow. With Mr. Stano, hopefully. Things first, Gabrielle. What the hell is fuzzy, sludgy, gross music? What is that? Again, I could probably get past the music. We could probably, you know, if she's open-minded, maybe we can switch it up a few times. You know, I mean, I listen to, uh, to Stano's uh, metal on occasion, even though that's not really my forte. But I'm starting to like it a little bit. But, you know, but again, the suck of the blood, not my thing. That. What does that mean? That just sounds like two oiled up, old, hairy, fat dudes mud wrestling. That's what I think. Fudgy, fudgy, I said it again! Also, 
Hit me up if you want to be covered in my blood? Listen, Undertaker! <laughs> your marketing skills because no one wants to be covered in your blood. I'm sorry. Nicole, 27. I'm looking for a guy who is really trusting and healthy. You must have both kidneys. Non-smoker and not be a big drinker or take any drugs that could damage the liver. Type O negative blood is a plus. Clearly this girl is selling organs on the black market. Why else would you be asking me all these questions? I get it if you want to date someone who's like into being healthy or whatever. Yeah. But once you start asking about blood type and like, wait, do you have both kidneys? I'm gonna be like, wait, what? What's going on? Yeah, exactly. Is someone dying? That, that's suspicious. Do I need to go save someone? Am I donating parts here? Like, what am I signing up for here? Misha, 24. Fisting is my first base. What? First base? <laughs> first base? You can get walked to first base. You know that, right? You're telling me someone's getting walked into a fisting? <laughs> no. First base for me is like a tap kiss. Just like. Just like that. Yep. Second base is making out and like dry humping. Third base blowies, and then a home run is sex. Three sums are kind of like a grand slam, and then fisting's like pitching a perfect game. It's only <laughs> it's a handful of times. Pitching a perfect it's game. super rare, and if you do it, you go down in history. It can't be first base. <laughs> That's true. What would second base be? Getting a foot? In the <laughs> if you start with this, where do you go? That's my question. Riley, 21, loves softball, long walks on the beach, and big titties. This kid's clearly not 21 years old. I don't yeah. know why he has a Tinder. He's like 11 years old, but shout out to big titties. Chloe, 22, I want to sleep with you. I don't mean have sex. I mean sleep together under my blankets with my hand on your chest and your arm around me. No talking. Just the muffled cries that you slowly let seep away from your blood-gurgling mouth as I slit your throat and sacrifice your worthless life to the dark old <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was... I don't know. Okay, first of all, that's terrible. First of all, the reason why I laughed is how she wrote that. She wrote that with just like, you know... Listen, we want to sleep together. Not have sex. Just, you know, just having a nice, you know, just a relaxing... You know, night together. Until I hear your cries slowly as I reap and rip out your something like that. It just fits. And this is just reminding me of Doki Doki already. And I'm not even done with the game yet. I'm just, just, Yuri just pops out of my head right now. Yuri just pops out of my head. It's just insane. Insane. First, we have someone who, who wants to cover herself in blood. Yuri. Second of all, now we're talking about a person who wants to sacrifice me to overlaw when she slits my throat. Yuri. Just saying. I should just play it today, but no, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I don't have time today, I don't think. The fuck was that? Either this girl's a complete psycho or she has this weird dark sense of humor that I don't get. You know, either way, I don't really know who's swiping right for her. You know, maybe the emo blood witch from before would enjoy <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of the blood Maybe witch. she would enjoy her company. They have like a little common interest there. The blood. But other than that, I don't really know. I'm sorry, Chloe. Not for me. Jesus. All right, that is all for this week's video. If you're interested in re-downloading Tinder, good luck. Because that's what you're up against, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast. It's called The Basement Yard. It comes out every Monday on iTunes and SoundCloud. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> All right, looks like we're done with that. Oh god, that was absolutely hilarious and creepy. Like I'm saying, I'm getting Doki Doki references in both of those girls. Covered in blood, slit my throat. Doki Doki references, and I haven't even finished the game. We we just got we just touched the basis of the creepy stuff. Like we already know that. There's stuff going on in the game. We already lost one person. She killed herself. And now we have another one. Now the game's all messed up. They deleted her. And now we ha now we have to find out what happens next. Which we'll find out tomorrow on my live stream. So, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any other... If you have, like, Tinder um, type of stories, comment down below. I've never been on Tinder. I don't think I'll ever go on Tinder because of this. Um, but I don't think I'm at that level yet. If I am going to get in a relationship... Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna I'm going and through an app. I like to go talk to person one on one, but that's just me. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to CFN Nation, and we'll see you next time.
dirty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you love me